Yo, what's going on people? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So today you guys are joining me from Bangkok in Thailand. I'm super excited to show you guys around Bangkok because so far just from being here, it's an incredible, hectic, nice, hot, sweaty, crazy place. And I wanna show you guys around it. But before I give you guys an apartment tour, I wanna take you downstairs and show you guys why I decided to pick this apartment and why this apartment is so cool. So come on, let's go. The place I'm staying at, the Airbnb I'm staying at, has a coffee shop downstairs. How good is that? Literally, you can go down in the morning, grab an iced coffee, which is also another reason why Bangkok's so great. It's so hot, so you get to drink iced coffee all day. And who doesn't like drinking iced coffee every day? Mmm, delicious. Now, let me give you guys an apartment tour. So, we have a kitchen here, and then we have the living space. We've got the bedroom, and then we've got the desk set up over there. Got my portable monitor, my laptop, and then you've got a nice little view out there as well, which I'll show you guys. Ah. That was good. That really was good. And look here, you've got some nice little buildings. Lovely. And then here is the bathroom. And then here's me. Hello. And then we got another little setup here. This thing here completely shuts off. So if you wanted to close the bedroom to the living room for whatever reason, as I'm here on my own, why the hell would I want to do that? So yeah, there's that. I'm going to take you guys through a day in the life of a travel trader in Bangkok and show you guys why Bangkok so far has been so great. It's a very hectic city. A lot of people, when they come to Thailand, they go to all the beach resorts, which I'm definitely going to do, but I just wanted to experience the craziness of Bangkok and experience the crazy city. I went out yesterday and explored a few little places, but I wanted to save it for today and take you guys around everywhere that we plan to go. I costed 50 baht, which is £1.13. £1.13 for this iced Americana, which is massive, which back in the UK, you get something like this from Starbucks, you're going to pay at least £4. And this was a pound, and it's just as delicious as going to like a proper coffee shop, because it is a proper coffee shop. Mm. Now, let me show you guys the rest of this crazy apartment. I don't mean the apartment, but the apartment building, because it's also got a gym, sauna, and many other things. So let's take you guys upstairs. I almost forgot. You guys are wondering, well, I doubt you're wondering, but maybe if someone was wondering, Someone may have, may have watched that top four and gone, I wonder what's in there. And I'm going to show you what's in there. It's a really nice, uh, it's just a balcony with a overly sized washing machine. But look, you can stand like this and enjoy the view. But it kind of feels like I'm in prison, which is not ideal, really. I mean, usually when I stay in some apartments, I like come out on the balcony and enjoy my coffee. But yeah, I think we'll give that a miss. Now that is how you start your mornings in Bangkok. Swim in this incredible rooftop pool and that sure enough wakes you up. I was feeling a little bit tired this morning. Come up here, enjoy the coffee, get in the pool. Wow, let me show you guys around. This place is incredible. It's also only not even 9 a.m. yet, so it's 10 to 9 Bangkok time. London open here doesn't open till around 1 o'clock, which is really nice. So you get the whole morning, a little bit of the afternoon to pretty much enjoy your entire day before you even need to look at a chart. I don't trade the Asian charts. I'm still going to trade the same time zone, which I do when I'm in London. So it gives me plenty of time to enjoy and explore Bangkok. This is where we have the gym in there, and this is stairs that go up into a rooftop restaurant, sun lounges, incredible infinity pool, of course. Risky business, risky business. Look at this, this little jacuzzi, wow. The good thing about this place as well is the Wi-Fi is incredible. So I can literally bring my laptop and trade from up here if I want to. It's not as productive as sitting at a desk, but if I do my morning analysis and then I just want to catch up on a few things, then this is just a great place to do it. We just have another incredible viewing point. Ooh. It's a communal kitchen in there, which everyone can use, which I've not used yet. Maybe we'll use that. Man, look at these views. They're absolutely stunning. The plan of action this morning is just to go for a nice swim, enjoy my iced coffee. I'm going to put in my earphones again and just sit on the sunbeds and listen to an audio book for the morning. And then I'll take you guys around the rest of the day and explore. I have no idea what we're going to get up to, but we're going to get up to some cool stuff and I'm going to take you guys along with me. And also guys, this is another one of their moments where I actually, I think it was four years ago, maybe it was three or four years ago, I used to look at Airbnbs like this in Bangkok with infinity pools over these crazy views. And I always, for some reason, I just imagined myself one day being able to trade from Bangkok, Thailand. I don't know what it was. I just had something about coming to Thailand, bringing my laptop and just staying at these incredible Airbnbs and enjoying insane views like this. I'm not gonna be staying at these the whole time, but just for the time that I'm in Bangkok, get a nice place where I can catch up on my sleep, and, and this is it. This is one of the moments where I'm feeling incredibly blessed to be aware where I am and what I'm doing right now. A few weeks ago, I was just in Barcelona, Spain. And maybe I said it to you guys, but I said to myself, when I get back home, I'm literally within 
two weeks gonna sell all of my stuff and just go go on the road full time and that's exactly what I've done I went home after about a week of being at home I started to get a little bit comfortable again I almost fell back into that trap but now that I'm here couldn't be happier so I hope this video just inspires you guys to come out and enjoy and explore when you're out in places like this your energy levels literally go huge through the roof when I'm back home when I'm just sitting at my desk all the time my productivity went down I just wasn't I wasn't creative and, and that really does affect your trading and it, it, it does affect you on the charts until you guys actually do it and see it for yourself and even if you guys aren't full-time traders yet I encourage you just to book a little trip and take your laptop or if you go on holiday one time cut off a day where you just spend a day in the life of what your life would be like if you were a full-time travel trader and being able to trade from wherever you want and it will inspire you so much and you'll you'll know exactly what I'm talking about but yeah this is just an inspiration just to show you guys that anything is possible you can do whatever the hell it is you want to do for me this didn't come overnight this took me probably a lot longer than maybe some others this took me three four years to get to this point now where I literally envisioned I would be here and it's incredible to be able to come here and finally 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 make it happen grab your laptop get the up, get out get moving get exploring you want to be a trader you want to you want to trade currencies well there's no better way to learn about economies than go and experience it firsthand for yourself not that i trade the thai butt but you know what i mean so yesterday i went to a place called mbk if you guys have been to Thailand before you probably know what it is i just randomly came across it, it was a huge shopping center and it was full of the most insane fake stuff ever so if you all of a sudden start seeing me wearing off-white and blends yoga in my videos, you know that it's definitely real, okay? Definitely didn't buy it from there. No. And also, hopefully, maybe, potentially, possibly, maybe take some trades today as well. Today is Friday. It's Friday today. It's been a very quiet week in the market. I've taken two trades this week. One break even and one loss on AUD Swiss franc. Break even on Euro USD, which I'm going to look to enter soon. Possibly today we'll see. But I took the AUD Swiss franc loss on Monday, and that was the day that I was like traveling, which maybe it was a bit silly to take a trade whilst you're traveling and whilst you know you're not going to be on the chart for like six hours. But we learn from our mistakes, <laughs> and losses are part of the game. People get so scared, um, and a lot of trading gurus get scared to talk about losses but losses are part of the game you guys have to embrace them and accept them as they're they're the way you learn and grow as a trader if we didn't have the losses then we wouldn't have the wins or if we didn't have losses then we would just have pure wins and then life would be good but that's not gonna happen <laughs> we take losses we're gonna head out we're gonna go to that lumfini park i have no idea what there is to do there but it looks pretty nice and we might even see some crazy wildlife but look when you're in bangkok you gotta remember turn on the ac so when you come back it's nice and cool. By the time we get around the park, it's probably going to be time to head to a coffee shop, grab some lunch and get ready for the London Open where we may look to take some trades, but I will share that with you guys if we do so, but let's go. So we made it in one piece to Lumfini Park. These bikes that you get, they're super cheap, but they're incredibly sketchy. I was holding on to that thing for a dear life. We made it, so let's explore this part. Look at that. What is that thing? Hello? I don't know if I should go too close to this. I'm not too sure if you're gonna eat me or not. Oh, maybe I'll leave you alone. See ya, man. Crouching down, filming some weird animals. I literally feel like David Attenborough. I might become the new David Attenborough. So if you see this channel turn into a nature channel, you know why. <laughs> Pretty cool park. There's a wild nature, wildlife. There's a, there's a lot of animals. But now I'm absolutely roasting. So we are going to go find a breakfast spot. And ideally I don't want to get back on a bike <laughs> because I want to get them bikes as little as possible. Um, but we're just going to go have a walk around go find a breakfast spot, jump on the laptop, look to do some work, and then we'll see what else the day brings. But it's absolutely roasting right now. It doesn't look sunny, but it's so hot, man. But can't complain, it's nice. This is what I wanted, we're here, we're enjoying it. Let's go get some breakfast.
three hours on, we got lots of work done. We jumped on the charts, did a big call with the community and we're looking to take a trade in the next hour or so, but I've got some alerts set, so I'm just gonna manage it on my phone. But guys, if you're ever in Bangkok, you definitely have to come and check out this place here. I'll leave the name um, of where it is. It's a really, really nice bakery, great Wi-Fi, and really good coffee as well. We are heading off to go explore for the day. It's three o'clock. I spent quite a long time in there, but we're now gonna go and see the reclining Buddha. So I'm about to go order uh, a bike and head there. So we're back from the temple run. It was absolutely roasting and that was such an incredible place and such a good experience. And now I've just ordered some food, gonna check up on the charts because it's only 20 to 11 London time, whereas it's 20 to six here. So it's prime time, trading time. So I'm just gonna eat this food, go on the charts, see how things are looking. Um, I was looking to take a GU position, but I think it's missed my entry just by a couple of pips. We just got some, I think this is some beef noodles and then we got some prawns in I can't, I, I can't remember what they're called all right i'm gonna sit here enjoy this and then i'm probably gonna go for a swim on the pool again just because it's absolutely roasting and i need to cool off so i'm gonna chow down this and then probably take the laptop upstairs um, and see how things are looking incredible Incredible sitting there on the laptop. I'm looking to take some trades. Haven't taken anything yet today, but look at this incredible sunset. This spot is absolutely stunning. I mean, this is a communal pool, but there's absolutely no one here. And there's not been anyone for the whole time, but that's it now. Bangkok day is just ending, but it's not even 12 o'clock in London. So I'm probably gonna go get a workout in and then come back for the US session. that's gonna open in an hour. Pool lights have just come on. This is absolutely stunning. No gym session. The gym is closed, which is a bit of a shame because I wanted to get in a good workout. I haven't had a workout since I've been here. I first day was in quarantine yesterday, which was my first full day here. I was just enjoying my time. I didn't really want to get in a gym session, but today I felt like getting in, in a gym session, but it's closed. So I tried, right? No one can slate me and say I didn't try. I tried and that's all you can do in life. You can just try, all right? Plan of action now is just to probably figure out some dinner plans and then come back and probably catch the US session. So I'll take you guys along the road for that. I may even go down, I think there's a 7-Eleven down the road, which I've never been to a 7-Eleven before because we don't have them in Jersey or in the UK. And I'm probably gonna get some weird stuff and that in itself sounds weird, but in weird stuff, I just mean stuff that I've never really tried before and I don't really know what it is. So maybe we're gonna do a little Bangkok food review and just buy some weird. So guys, it's a new day, checked into a new Airbnb. Um, the reason I didn't record yesterday is because when I got back to my apartment, I just absolutely crashed out. The heat took its toll on me and I pretty much just spent the rest of the evening just having some dinner and chilling out and it wasn't really worth showing you guys this. But now we are checked into a new Airbnb and I'll show you guys around this one. So today is Saturday, so FX and indices market is closed. So today I'm actually taking some crypto day trades. Yesterday, I didn't take any trades in the FX side or gold or anything like that. Crypto market is in full flow and we're moving really, really well. And let me show you guys this position I have taken. DYDX little intraday play on the 15 minute time frame. What I'm looking for is if we go into the hourly, looking for this to come up and create a right shoulder around this zone. So that's the reason that I'm longing into there. And if we go into the 15 minute, all I was simply waiting for here was a break and a retest of this level where I then set an order and pushing up really, really nice. So lovely to be able to get into a trade at least once this week. It's been a very, very quiet week. It is 3 p.m. Bangkok time, 8 a.m. London time. So I'm about to let this crypto position do its thing. And I'll give you guys a quick apartment tour, but mainly I want to show you guys the pool on top because this rooftop pool is absolutely incredible. Today, this afternoon, once the sun goes down, because this morning I got incredibly, incredibly sunburnt and you wouldn't be a British tourist if you didn't come on holiday and get sunburnt. So luckily the rooftop pool is in the shade and there's a really nice gym up there, which I'll show you guys as well, as well as like a massive rooftop deck. The whole point of this video is just kind of showing you guys a day in the life of a digital nomad crypto FX gold trader, whatever you want to call it, day in the life in Bangkok. And hopefully this video inspires you guys to come out and do all these crazy things. Let me show you guys the rooftop pool.
place is absolutely incredible. This is probably one of the, I said this earlier, this is probably one of the nicest ones I've stayed at now. Like these views are just absolutely incredible. It doesn't get much nicer than this. Look at this. Sit here, there up at these views. It's just incredible, 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 incredible. So the plan of action for the rest of the day is sit up here, chill, unwind, check up on that crypto position, but so far so good. Stop losses are at break even, so risk is off the table. Go back down, spend some time by the pool, and then we're gonna go to that rooftop massive viewing point, and I'll take you guys along for that. Now that is so refreshing. So we had a slight change of plan. I went to go to the Skywalk um, Tower all over Bangkok, but before I went, luckily I found out that the top main platform where you look outside and check out all the views was actually shut. So I didn't end up going and I ended up just going to a really cool street night market just down the road. So I'll put the clips in before and you guys can check it out. It was pretty fun. Real nice smoothie, I had a nice chicken wrap, but look, DYDX, little crypto day trade, absolutely smashed, take profit whilst I was out. That was a really, really nice little play today, which allowed me to end the week in profit because this week I had one loss on FX and another break even. So it was a pretty funny week in the FX world. Like I said, that's pretty much me for the evening, for the day, for the past two days that I've been here in Bangkok. It has been great. Um, if you ever come to Thailand, it's definitely worth checking out this crazy city. In terms of traveling around Bangkok as a digital nomad, whatever you may be, from what I've seen, the Wi-Fi everywhere I've been has been absolutely fantastic. All the coffee shops, all the major shopping centers, stuff like that, they've all had really, really good Wi-Fi, so you won't have a problem securing good Wi-Fi. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, smash that like button, subscribe, because in the next video, we're going to be in a brand new location, and I'm going to be bringing you guys along the road and the journey. So smash that subscribe button. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.